So the Somerset Isle DLC just dropped for Elder Scrolls Online, and since I am a big fan of Elder Scrolls Online, and by a big fan I mean I think it's just okay, I figured today we could go check it out and discover if the DLC is any good. Just gonna log into my character here. He's a super high level of 29, so you know I'm a pro at this game. Okay, so it looks like we get there just by traveling there instantly, so I guess that's uh, I guess that's an exciting way to venture to this secret hidden place that no one's allowed to, you just fast travel. And here we are in Somerset Isles, wow look at this place, it's just majestic, there's there's a bear, apparently. That guy is just floating in the air, so that's something. And now of course the question is, what do we do now that we're here? I don't really know, I don't, I have no idea. Do we talk to somebody? Looks like this guy over here has a quest, so let's go ask him and see what he has to say. All right, pal, what's going on? I, I'm here for the Somerset Isles thing that's going on. Can you get, can you tell me what's happening? First, the queen issues a decree that changes the status of Somerset from an isolated paradise into a tourist attraction. Now, monsters, sea creatures, I've never seen anything like them. Well, I say let the cat fight them. Better him than me. Ah, uh, well, hopefully this isn't the main quest because this sounds like the most boring quest of all time. A cat fight them? Okay. Suddenly the ground opened, spewing water and strange creatures. They attacked us. Luckily, one of the newcomers, a Khajiit, leaped in and drove them back. Called himself Razumdar. He could probably use some help if you're so inclined. Ah, uh, sure, I'll go talk to Razumdar. My quest log is full. Great. Okay, so we got the quest from him, now let's go find Razumdar. Uh, it sounds like, I, I believe that guy is actually part of the main quest, I'm pretty sure. So it sounds like this is the main quest. What an exciting start, they've really got me hooked. Let's, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Well, it's a good thing that Elder Scrolls Online still features all of the fun-loving bugs that you would expect from any Elder Scrolls game. Razumdar, where are you? You're right there, how's it going, what's up? Have you ever seen such creatures? Raz has not. Probably neither have you. You are a newcomer, yes? New to this island of high elves? This one has an eye for such things. And you look capable. So can Raz interest you in some cloak and dagger work? Cloak and dagger work sounds um, ominous. Ominous? No, nothing of the sort. Well, maybe a little of the sort. Ask some questions, determine the mood in Shimmerin, and see how the newcomers are faring. So you know how when you start up games like Skyrim or Oblivion and they're like, Hey man, this is, this is an epic adventure, you gotta go on. Isn't that exciting? Well apparently whoever designed this game decided, Hey, what's a great way to start this game? Well first you just have to fast travel here rather than being fighted, which would be to make more sense, but also, just talk to some people and, and ask them some questions. Talk to some random people that you don't know about, and just say what's up, dude. Not that you'd understand the concept, but the path to Alaxon requires dedication and complete concentration. I must find the perfect shells, or my pigments will be substandard. And do you know what that will do to my art? I don't... I don't really care, honestly. Exactly. I don't know how useful that was, but I guess let's go talk to somebody else. Uh, we didn't actually have to look for any shells, which is good, because that would have literally been the most boring thing I can possibly think of. But, uh, so far I haven't been won over, I'll, t I'll tell you what. Spent 40 bucks on this. 40 goddamn bucks! You know what I hate in video games? Pointless running around. When there's just, when there's just all this empty space and you gotta run to the next place, and it's not even for something that, that that's that interesting, like I'm going running over here to talk to so so Zola or whatever the hell his name is. And he's probably gonna talk to me about something dumb and boring. And now for some reason there's a wolf in between where this guy is and where I'm trying to go. And apparently this person I'm trying to talk to is just a backpack, so let's check it out. Oh god, there's a lot of reading here. Somerset is not the wondrous paradise the heralds proclaimed it to be. Great. As soon as I stepped off the boats, priests from the monastery collected me from some sort of cultural assessment to ascertain my understandings of societal rules and regulations. Uh, and also, for some reason, this guy is nowhere to be found. I like how I know where this guy's backpack is, but I don't know- Oh, is that him right there? Was he dead? Did somebody kill him? I don't really understand what's going on, but I guess let's go to the next guy. 
I gotta be honest with you, I was a little disappointed when they announced Somerset Isles for Elder Scrolls on Online because it basically destroyed my theory that Elder Scrolls 6 was gonna be set in the Somerset Isles. Alright, dude, what can you tell me? A newcomer in the warehouse district. Unusual. But how can I help you today, my friend? Okay, for some reason this guy's name ended up in some log. How did it get there? I arranged to bring my cousin here to work with me. The ship arrived, but all the newcomers were carted away. For questioning, they said. I complained to the kin lady and anyone else who would listen. And what has it gotten me? Nothing! Okay, so apparently this guy also lost, uh, some guy to somebody that took him away to the monastery, I guess. So I guess let's go back to Razumdar now and see what he has to think about this thing that we're doing. The kin lady and I, we have only your best interests in mind. Every guest must be sequestered while we ascertain their suitability for Ultima society. All right, Razumdar, what's going on? Did you learn anything interesting from the people I sent you to talk to? Okay, so people, yeah, we learned something interesting. People have been kidnapped and we don't know what's going on. Why would the Aldar gather up newcomers and non-high elf residents alike and send them to the monastery? Does the kin lady condone this behavior? Raz's head itches, and not in a good way. Our course is clear, Five Claw. We must go to the monastery. All right, let's yeah, let's go to the monastery, the place where they've been locking people up and and not letting them out. And also, we were just allowed on this island, and there's no way we're gonna get kicked off by going in and starting to kill people randomly. Sounds like a great idea. I'll tell you one thing: this place does look pretty cool. I mean, look how sweet it. It's like, it's like uh, something that looks real, real nice. You know what I'm saying? Really makes me wish that Elder Scrolls 6 was actually based on this and not this instead, but whatever, we got something interesting. Alright, let's head up to this monastery now and try and sneak in, I guess. Well, it looks like it was pretty easy. Wow, an abyssal pearl! Let's check it out! I don't know why I care about it. An unusual knickknack for an old docks office, wouldn't you agree? Uh, yep, okay, lady. I noticed you skulking around while I was engaged in some skulking of my own. I suppose we both came to the monastery with a similar purpose in mind. And what purpose would that be? The sequestered newcomers. I came to find out what happened to a friend. I assume that's what brought you here as well? A house of worship shouldn't be used as an internment camp, and it shouldn't be locked to the public either. I was about to explore the Undercroft. Care to join me? Yeah, I guess. Holy crap, they're keeping these people in cages around here. That's pretty bad. Is that guy's name? Scavenger? Well, okay, I can see why they kept him in a cage. Oh man, now we're fighting some crazy creatures. Let's take out this... This weird looking guy. Definitely it's not anything I've seen in Elder Scrolls before, so I guess that's exciting. And I'm dead. Good. Okay, did we do it? We, we, we finish it? Where the hell did the lady go? Oh, she's way over there now. Oh, no, she's... She's still talking to me, but I can't see her. All right, let's let's leave this area. Hey, lady, what happened to you? You, like, disappeared and everything. <sighs> Those poor people. This wasn't just about newcomers and opposing the Queen's decree. That was Daedric magic back there. I just wish we had arrived a few moments earlier. I promised to explain what I know. I suppose that now's as good a time as any. I'm a member of the Sigic Order. Wow, a member of the Sigic Order? That's crazy. There's story elements currently unfolding in this game that I can't take part of because I have to fight random stupid fucking creatures. Like, who the hell thought that made sense? The moron designed it to be this way. See, I don't know what I just missed. What the fuck? <laughs> like, why? Alright, so I guess... I, I don't- I honest- I just killed somebody? I don't know who it was or why, I don't understand what the purpose was. Oh god. Well good, we did it! We did the- we did the thing. That's real exciting. So glad. Hey, how's it going? Razumdar apprehended the kin lady. They're at the west edge of the coral forest. He did? I don't know. What happened to Aldark Tilkalar? Did he escape? Uh, apparently, according to this, Aldark Tilkalar is dead? I need to return and tell Reichmaster Ikesis all that transpired here. If you're willing, I'd like you to come to Arteum and confirm my story. Wow, okay, so after that exciting adventure, we're now gonna head to the Isle of the Sigic Order, which sounds way cooler than whatever I'm doing right now. So, I guess... 
Oh, nope, I gotta fight this stupid lizard. All right. Salamander, I'm sorry. You see, there's more fucking story. He's what is he saying? I don't know. I have to fight a stupid goddamn salamander. You know, I give Skyrim a hard time quite a bit for just letting you into like whatever guild you want and then just immediately making you the guild master, which it's pretty much every single side quest in that game. But I tell you what, I've been hanging out with the Sigic Order Lady for two minutes. I did barely anything, and she's just like, oh yeah, come to my come to my place and learn magic and whatever. What? I wasn't even invited when I was a friggin' dragonborn. Well, here we are, the secret island that out ex exists outside of existence. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm genuinely surprised that Bethesda let these guys do this. You would think that at the very least, the secret island, island of the Sigic Order would be off-limits, but I guess not. I guess you play this game for 20 minutes and you're already here. Only a select few not of our order have ever walked upon this sacred island. Val tells me your aid was indispensable in uncovering the false Aldox plot on Somerset. I don't know about that. That's That seems like a bit of a stretch to me, honestly. There are mysteries to unravel, and Val believes you will be instrumental to our success. We can get started immediately. Oh, unless you want to explore our island first. Ugh, I, I just... I hate games where it's like, you are the super best, you're gonna, even though there's absolutely no reason for anybody to believe that, you're gonna be the ultimate hero, and you're gonna be instrumental to our success, even though I'm just some random loser who just turned up on fucking Somerset Isles, just out of the blue, and now here I am, the hero. Great. Okay. Tranquil greetings, Caraval. You will forgive me if I seem awkward. We rarely entertain guests here on our team. I am Kellaris. The Sigic Order requires practical wisdom, outside perspective. Unless I miss my guess, you can provide both. You would be a worthy addition to our ranks. Oh god, I've just- what, now I'm being invited into the Sigic Order? Even some of the greatest wizards in Elder Scrolls don't get to be a part of this, and I'm just some- I'm not even a wizard! I use daggers! All right, well, you know what? This game has not been able to capture my uh, interest. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. And I just did a video on my top five guilty pleasure video games, so if you want to make fun of me, you can go check that out and then tell me how dumb I am for liking those games down in the comments. I will see you guys there. Goodbye.